Hello YouTubers, this is CD Mangaka here today, and I'm going to be doing something different for you guys, something extra special, I'll say. And this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a live commentary, okay? This is going to be going through um, two different things, actually. The first one is like how I myself make live commentaries, and I'll be talking about, you know, little differences that might occur between other commentators. And for you, any of you commentators watching this thing who are wondering, like, how do I put together a live commentary, I'm hoping I can give you guys some... Um, advice and tips and how to set up the stuff so you can make a live commentary so that your own fans can enjoy some of your videos and you know you know get to see you play live so I figured the best way to do this commentary would actually to make a live commentary myself hey there guys it's CD Mangaka here in my PJs on a beautiful Friday morning summer is here there's the TV screen right now and hopefully I got this bad boy synced up see how they're moving at the same time oh Again, so this is the live commentary, actually, and if you, in case you didn't figure it out yet, I am using a video camera to do this, you know, I don't know, I'm pretty sure everybody at this point figured it right now, we are all in the 21st century. And, hold on, here we go. So, over here I have my little setup, I get close to there, but my camera's almost out of batteries. That's my, on my laptop, that's all the stuff hooked up to it, there's a cable on the right side of the laptop, there's my HD PVR on the back. So, to record a live commentary, what you want to do is... You know, get your get your recording equipment set up, start recording your video, and then there's there's two different ways to do this. Most commentators, big time commentators who make money off this, Hutch Scene Anders, Machinima guys, they probably have another computer right next to them that um, uh, allows them to basically open up a program and have them record their voice as an audio file rather than videotape themselves playing the game. But the principle is actually, in fact, the same. You just want to find a way to record your own live audio and have it synced up with the gameplay volume, okay? I'm going to digress here for a moment and actually show you guys how you make it so that, you know, this on PS3, by the way, on Xbox 360, there's a different setting that you can go into, and I have seen it, so I kind of can give you an idea. But if you want to do live call-out stuff, if you play with a full party and you want your you want, you want want the rest of your people to hear them, if you play with a gaming headset, here's what you do. You go down to accessory settings in PS3. On, on Xbox 360, I don't know where it is. Go find, like a, like, a, like, a microphone setting, like a chat setting or whatever. And we're going to come down here to audio device settings for PS3. And as you can see here, we have these um, input device and output device. I'm using a Turtle Beach headset. It's right there on the floor. Ah, shoot. Bad camera work. Bad camera work. <laughs> Who's sick yet? No. The output device, instead of having a Turtle Beach headset, we're going to make it so that the chat volume comes through the TV. Now, it will still come through your headset, but it's going to be part of the game volume if you're using a Turtle Beach headset. Maybe if Titan Pros. Um, there will be some differences here, but I'm sure you guys will be able to figure it out. But this will be a basic um, uh, baseline how to set it up for you. So if you're using a Turtle Beach headset, you come to output device, you put on system default device. This will take the chat volume and then make it so that it doesn't... It will go through your TV as well as through your headset. When you have it on just Turtle Beach headset, the chat is routed to your headset so you can control the chat volume using the little chat setting on the side of the um, Turtle Beach little box. But if you put it through the TV system default device, it will go through the TV. You can't control it with a chat dial, but it will be going with the game volume. And when you do that, the chat volume we record is gameplay volume on your recorder, and that's how you can record your teammates' voices. So that's how you set up a live commentary. For Xbox 360 users, it gets a little different. Um, you have to go into settings, and then there's like chat settings, and then you can have it go through both your headset and your speakers. So go find wherever your um, uh, microphone setting is. I do apologize, Xbox 360 guys. I'm not able to you know, tell you this stuff real fast. I just don't know. It's a lack of hardware knowledge to me. But dig around your settings. I have seen it on YouTube. I haven't taken notes as to where, though. But you guys will find it. You guys, you, you guys should be able to find it. I, I have faith in you as a human race. So little of that going around now. So that's how you actually set up this live commentary. You can use a video camera. You know, digital video camera would be the best thing to do. If you have a videotape camera, then that runs on tape. You know, tape. You all remember tape, right? No? Okay. Oh, man, it's like, you know, when I was a kid, cameras ran on little tape things that we had to record, not these little SD cards. And man, I'm starting to feel old. Anyone else feeling old even though you're like 17? Crazy how technology is growing. I digress. I digress, and I can't remember what I was talking about. Oh, right, digital camera. I'm using a Canon. Vi I'm using a Canon camera right now. It's just a digital camera is the best thing to do. That way, when you're done with your video recording, all you have to do is to take the SD card out, plug it into your computer, then you need to find your video file, copy it on your computer, and then set up. And by the way, I'm going to show you guys how what you got to do on a computer program actually to finish up this live com. So we're going to go to a camera cut right here, and I'll be joining you guys actually right now. So we're up here in my den, and I'm actually in my program that I use myself to make my own videos, and we actually got the live commentary that you guys just watched. 
set up right here. There's a gameplay video on top. See where it says video once it focuses. I apologize for the lines. I have to film this with the camera because I don't have a program that allows me to record the computer image. And then on the bottom, you're going to see over OVL1 and then the little video file. That's actually the video recorded off the camera. And I'm going to just go over the basic theory now. Basically, I'm using Roxy Creator 2011, not a very popular program. The most popular program out there for YouTube commentators is Sony Vegas Pro uh, 6, I think it's right now. But you can, even though this is a different looking interface, the theory is still the same. What you're going to do to make a live commentary is that you're going to take your gameplay video, or this gameplay that you see right here, and you're going to input it into the program as your main video, okay? And then um, in Sony Vegas Pro, you're going to open up another video track, and it's going to be your audio file. It's going to be um, the the recording of yourself, your own video um, of you. You know, you used a video camera to record or an audio file that you recorded. It depends on what method you use. And then you're going to input it into another file. And right here in, in Rocks Your Creator, I actually got the video of myself, the video camera self, as part of the light, as part of an overlay. Which an overlay basically is just when I come right here and you see that little screen. That's an overlay. And you're just going to sync them up. You're just going to sync them up so that the audio is playing at the same time. Now, one method I like to do is that you remember earlier on in the video, I'm going to play it right now. You remember early on in the video where you were staring at the screen and then you saw this? That was my cue. That was my cue saying, hey, okay, the PVR is going, everything looking green, so I'm going to just, you know, make this little motion, this little visual cue for me to follow so that I can start recording the camera. And so when I'm putting this together later in my video program, I know when I put that in the video. And then my video is synced up. If you see that blue bar, that is the time that we're currently at, and the first little blue video right here is perfectly synced up along with that line, and it starts right away, and that way it will make it easier for you guys to sync up a live commentary, and you know, be, be sure to also just go over video, make sure everything's in sync, make sure there's no delayed reaction or early reaction as far as your live commentary goes. So. Anyways guys, that's how you put together a live commentary. You can pick up a video camera, digital is preferred, but it can be whatever video camera um, that you want, that you, that you have to use. If there's a way for you to do it, then go ahead. And then um, uh, you just make a visual cue for yourself in your gameplay video. Um, you, you change up the settings however you need to. If you're just doing your own live comm, you don't have to change the chat settings. If you want to capture other people's voices, change the chat settings so that the chat comes through the TV and your recorder picks it up as well. Take it into your program, get the two, get the two videos synced up. And, you know, just make sure the audio is on key and everything. And that's just basically how you put together a live commentary. If you have any questions, if there's something I've muddled with or confused you guys on, let me know in the comment section or send me a message. I will be happy to elaborate for you guys. I'm doing this just to help other people out, to, you know, show my fans as well how I make my live commentaries. And also just to help out up-and-coming YouTube commentators how to put their own, you know, live commentaries together. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you benefited from it in some way. This is CD Mangaka, and you all have a good day.